Hey guys, it's Anne at Plin Obsessed, and uh, we're gonna take a look on the baiting game today. I know I just uploaded the video on Friday, but it was taken last week, and so we're already gonna be looking at an update on the baiting game. Okay, so what we have here is our little bananas. Let's take a look at what's going on with the bananas. Everything is staying pretty nice and wet around here now that the weather's changed. They are getting into the banana. Lots of little babies. Uh, but let's, let's see if everything holds true with what happened last week, and we'll check underneath and see if underneath the banana is where everybody's hanging out. Well, there still appears to be quite a few worms interested in this banana juice, I guess, because it's not really in the banana, it's in in the juice underneath. Okay, well, I'm gonna get these guys over to their new home. So that was banana number one. Now let's look at banana area number two here and see what we've got. Well, I see worms on the outside. Little baby, little baby worms all over. Put them in their new home, put that off to the side. And then we can dig around the banana was and see if we can find a worm ball. So yeah, pretty good concentration of worms. I'm not, it's definitely not a worm ball. A little dry, I'm gonna have to add water when I put this back together. But yeah, so there's, there's a good amount of worms. Put them in the other place, in their new place. Then we'll move over to the next banana. In the corner over here. Okay. Same story. Little baby ones. All over. And then we'll just dig around over towards here where the banana was. So yeah, that's a... That's a pretty good worm, more like a worm hacky sack. All right. I actually think that here, where my thumb is, I actually think that's a pot worm. Yeah. If you see right, I don't know if it's focusing very well, right here by my thumbnail, I think those are pot worms. And look underneath. Okay, so that's for that banana. So yeah, that did that did a nice job. Yep, once I get all these worms out of here, then then I can use this compost in my garden. It's getting close to being that time. I've got four raised beds that I do my vegetables in, fruit trees, grapes. This place has a lot of need for this compost. Let's do this one, the ice cream tray. So you can see the, the worms coming and going out of those holes. Here's a, an example of what the hole looks like without a worm. So I don't really want to, just the ones that are on the outside hanging out, but there's holes on both sides. Let's see if it's the same way and it's tracting locally, just a little. Yep. Good little babies. One of the purposes of doing this is to not lose the worms that are doing this specific job. Now that is a pretty, pretty red. All right, let's see what's in the box. I've given them enough time to get through the hole if that's what they're gonna do. Holy cow. All right, well, I think adding water to the mix certainly helped because it was the, the items in the, the bait box was pretty dry last week. Yeah, I should get a lid to mess with this. Okay. Okay, now that they're on the lid, I won't lose them, go to this trouble to bait them out and then have them run off on me. Yeah, so if you look, the goo in the bottom is certainly popular. So I guess the way I'm doing this is a dual method because they, they didn't just make a big, huge ball. Let me grab my light. See if we can't 
expedite this. This is a really bright light. Force them down to the bottom and pick the bedding and the food off the top. Okay, let's see if I can give them a second here to get moving. It's uncomfortable for some of the worm species to be in the light, so I try not to, I don't know, it seems mean. I don't know. So yeah, if I can kind of grab the parts off the edge and have them crawl underneath so I can get a better worm ball, that much more ideal. Get more of them out of here. Usually the, the first ones you can get are the ones that were at the edges. They seem to go faster. Okay, let's see. You can already see they've They've cleared out. This is gonna still take quite a few more sessions of this to completely finish this up. Let's run here again for a second. Yeah, they've got plenty of room to get under there and get out of the light and hopefully make myself a decent worm ball. Get them out of there. If I see that they're not moving, I pick them out because from what I understand, they can get kind of, uh, can kind of paralyze them. So if I see them not moving, they're my little composting buddies. I don't wanna hurt them. So yeah, I just keep. Mounding it up. There's nowhere to go but down. I don't know how well that translates so you can see that they're disappearing underneath the soil. So you can see like this one's not going anywhere. I'll move him. All right, I think that's enough. So there we go. So the bait plus light method is working nicely. All right, just in case anybody cares what I'm gonna do in between, I'm just fluffing here, looking for any obvious large worms. If there are, I will pick them out and put them in the other one. All right, I'm gonna put the bait box back over here. I think I'm gonna reduce one of the bananas and make that part of this bait thing. Okay, so I've Got all of the worms separated now. I'm gonna put the bananas back. Uh, put them in the corners again. Okay, cover them up. And then I'm actually gonna, gonna put a little bit of water in there because that was starting to get a little dry. I seem to have misplaced my sprinkler cap. That's it for the the baiting game. So we're down to three bananas and the one bait box. I don't know. I actually think the bait box did better this week. So I don't know. Maybe there's no difference at all. Um, but again, it was more difficult to get the worms out of the box than it was from out from underneath the bananas. So, ease of use, the bananas are still, and the bait box, I think, is actually grabbing more worms. But I am going to just let this rest of this dry out and leave the bait box and the bananas as the only moisture source. I'm gonna just leave this to dry out because that'll be easier for me. Okay, well, that is, that is all for today. Thank you very much for hanging out with me and my worms. I hope you found this informative and helpful. And if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And click the subscribe button if you'd like to have more content like this. If you're already a subscriber and have been hanging out with me for a while, um, I really appreciate that. Re appreciate the comments, appreciate uh, any learnings that you can pass on to me. And uh, hope everybody has a good night.